how to create some custom collection in our automation hub. So first of all, we need to actually create our collection. So let me start from an empty directory with nothing on it. Let me uh, delete the content that I have inside here. It was only a test directory. So let me use ansible-galaxy. Uh, this is the command line tool that we are going to use to create uh, any role or collection. Uh, collection in it and let me specify the name for example test dot test okay cool now under this uh, directory this directory tree is going to be created the test namespace with a test collection and inside of it there is there are some important files so for example let me analyze the galaxy.yml this is basically define the namespace and the name of a collection. Test and test. Specify the version, the readme file, and we can also specify some uh, contact for the author, the description, the license, as well as additional tag and dependencies. This is very useful, especially for production ready collection that want to specify more details. Uh, one file that we need to be very careful is the uh, meta file that is an uh, is the runtime file under the meta directory. It is absolutely mandatory to specify requires Ansible and specify the version that we need to uh, that is uh, the minimum allowed, and we can specify additional component, for example, the dependency of a plugin and this kind of stuff. In my case, I don't need anything of this additional component as this is only a demo component that I'm using for demonstrating this thing. Uh, in a real world, we are going to populate the plugin with additional plugin and the role with additional role. So let me enter inside the test directory. And as you can see, here I am uh, and I'm one important thing that I need to execute is actually building the collection file that is going to create one tarball with a specific namespace collection name and the, col the uh, target zeta extension. This file is going to be very interesting because it contains the file that we saw before as well as manifest and a file JSON that define some property of our collection. Cool. Now we have this file that we can use to create, to actually populate our custom collection inside Automation Hub. This is just the bare minimum in a real world scenario we are going to populate with additional role and components. Now, welcome to my Ansible Automation Hub. So this node is going to be my web eye where I'm going to connect using my admin user and manage my collection. We can see that under the collection menu, I have already populated content with certified and mm, verified connection. Uh, but if we, first of all, we need to create uh, our namespace. For example, in my case, it's named test, but it could be your organization name or moreover, I don't know. Uh, some name of a creator, we create this collection. Cool. Now there is no content inside this directory. Let me upload some content. Let me select the file and uh, cool is inside my test directory. Let me select the table just generated and let me upload it. In a blink of an eye, Ansible Automation Hub is going to perform some check on some basic verification and sanity test for our collection. And as you can see, we have a green status, which means that uh, basically the, the basic component inside our collection. In this case, it's just the skeleton with nothing inside, but we have everything in place. Now, under the collection, we can see that there are different repositories. Exactly this collection moved to the staging area and this is a special place where you can see uh, this is exactly the namespace and the collection name and the version that we specified just a 
few seconds ago and we can remove from the st staging area if we are not satisfied by the result. Um, one special role is the, the super user, in my case the administrator, that has this uh, voice on the menu. So if you are a normal user, you don't have this, uh, um, this voice on the menu and my superpower is that I could approve this collection. After a careful review, I could download and test in my machine or I can re reject and see uh, more details about uh, the import log. In this case, I'm going to approve the content so it will be available in the public namespace and using it could be used by everybody. So if I'm searching for the namespace test, now we will see that there are we can see that there is a test collection available. In this case, has zero module, zero role, zero plugin, zero dependency, but was created two minutes ago in my organization. Now I can use the CLI configuration to fetch this content and guarantee using my organization. Uh, we can also search for this test collection inside this menu and by magic our collection is here. As you can see we can put a more descriptive description, we can put more content, but this is the basic of how to create a col custom collection and how to deploy inside my Ansible Automation Hub. And this is going to be like the dashboard where we control all the component. In the same way we can create a workflow in our organization to create some content putting in the staging area and be authorized only the component that we need. As you can see, there is target as published in the published repository now, and we can always differentiate between the certified component that are the one created by Red Hat. Cool, now we are ready to go. We can create our custom collection, populate with as many content as we want, and deploy in our automation hub. Yay! Let's automate more!